Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. It's equipment review time again. And yes, we've got another multimeter. Check it out. It's the Fluke, the brand new Fluke 233. And thanks to Duncan Livingston of the test equipment shop, I've got one of the first that's landed in Australia. I know what you're thinking, not just another multimeter review. Well, this one's different. It's radically different to anything else on the market. And here's why. Check it out. <laughs> Crikey! Look at that! Is that the most pornographic thing you've ever seen or what? Yes, the display is wireless. It's removable. <laughs> and you know what we say here on the EEV blog? Don't turn it on. Take it apart. So here we go, it's open, that's really nice. It, it popped off almost as if it's begging to be open. And uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, terminals, the actual battery terminals soldered directly onto the board. That's really nice. There's a poly switch I can see down here to obviously for protection. There's the, uh, there's the surface mount antenna right there. So there you go. And uh, the main chip here, no surprise at all, is a Texas Instruments MSP430 uh, microcontroller, one of those ultra low power jobs. And it's got the uh, buzzer on there, and that's, that's about it. There's not much else in it. It's really very, very nice uh, construction. And it's, once again, it's begging to be opened. In fact, you have to open it if you want to replace the um, HRC fuse. And as you can see here, um, typical fluke quality construction. You've got the massive HRC fuse, there's your 10 amp current shunt, the um, uh, input sockets are really well um, soldered and well anchored, I like those, and look at the range of protection stuff. You've got all these protection, there's your uh, main input resistor, protection devices everywhere, and there's your thin film resistor network right in there and as with the other display um, the battery terminals I like them they're soldered directly um, through hole straight onto the board the gold plating looks really good you've got a shielded display uh, can here and I can't see the main processor it's probably on the uh, bottom side of course but um, I won't take it fully apart but there you go there's the infrared stuff and it's just a really nice layout Typical of Fluke high quality construction. Pretty much a standard um, uh, Fluke industrial type electrical multimeter, not electronics. This isn't really designed for electronics as such because it's only got the uh, 10 amp, uh, 6 amp or 10 amp current range. It doesn't have milliamps or microamps like a good electronics uh, meter should. It's 0.2% DC volts are uh, basic accuracy plus two counts which is you know more than good enough for basic electrical engineering use anyway uh and it's got that nice solid fluke uh you know hefty feel to it it weighs about the same as a fluke 87 it's got the over molded rubber it doesn't have the removable rubber casing which i really like those i don't like this over molded stuff as much really. Uh, Cat 3 1000 volts or Cat 4 600 volts so it's designed for high energy industrial type uh, scenarios. It's got the famous fluke touch holder. So, yep there we go. So if it goes over a certain voltage it indicates that lights up and says high voltage. Tell us the price son. This one retails for 299 US dollars so it's it's not bad. A magnetic um, hanger hook thing here which doesn't come in the box which is pretty disappointing you've got to pay extra for that i think for a meter of this class they probably should include the magnetic hanger that's a bit tight ass a fluke i think as i said you get a thermocouple uh attachment which is pretty good you get the standard uh fluke high quality test probes just the standard ones which they're great they're sharp and everything you get the uh alligator uh clip uh, high voltage alligator clips. You get a, a CD with the manual on it because there's no manual with it. But you would think so. You take it out of the box and you get this, right? It looks like a manual. Look how thick it is, right? But no, this is not the manual. It's the damn getting started manual, the getting started guide. Why? When you buy a meter like this, it's a multimeter for God's sake. Anyone who buys this is going to know how to use it. They don't need some stupid getting started guide like this. 
All you want to know is the damn specs. That's all you want. You don't want to know how to plug the leads in and hook it up. No, it's useless. Just give me a card with the specs on it, save the damn tree, and useless. Ah. Oh. The buttons are really nice. It's got really fast auto range and really responsive. Oh yeah, that's pretty quick. I think it uh, catches glitches down to 500 microseconds. Beauty. Now, serious thing that's missing is the warning beeper when you've got the probe plugged into the amps jack and you're on volts. It, it doesn't beep at you, it doesn't tell you, it doesn't do anything. And yes, another thing I hate, you guessed it, the tilt in bale. Look at this load of plastic flimsy garbage. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just going to fall right off. I don't know, it's just... Ah, oh, flute don't make good tilting bales anymore. It's hopeless. Now, what you all want to see, of course, is this new funky removable display. They've got two uh, clips on the side here, either side. So you just grab it like this and you slide it off like that. And it continues to work. And you can operate it remotely up to 10 meters. It's wireless. Now, it's actually got an infrared link as well. On the display there, it's got a uh, wireless symbol. When you actually plug it in, it switches the wireless off to save power. Now, the wireless system uses uh, 802.15.4 standard, and you've probably heard of that. It's, it's the wireless standard that they use for Zigbee and other stuff. Now, they don't actually claim this is uh, Zigbee at all, because that's a higher level protocol stack, but it uses the underlying RF technology for Zigbee. So it should be, this is begging to be hacked. This should, you should be able to uh, intercept and decode the signal for this, and use it as a data logger. Now, if Fluke is smart, they will just publish the open protocol for this thing, and you'll have a whole bunch of uh, third-party developers developing all add-ons for it. I know, you know, Fluke are probably a bit anal when it comes to that sort of thing, maybe, but, you know, that's what they should be doing. But if you actually remove the batteries from either the base unit or the wireless display, these will actually lose sync, and what you've got to do is just plug it back in, and it will resync uh, every time you turn it on. So what good is a removable display? Is it just a gimmick? Well, no, it's, it's, I can think of, of hundreds of situations over the years where I could have done with this. If you've got some bit of machinery that has a safety interlock or something, and you've got to put the multimeter inside or some sort of uh, a test chamber or test environment, you should be able to hook this thing out. And check this out. Also, you can just go up to your bench and stick it on. Look at that, it's got a magnet. So you can be sitting here a pretty powerful one sitting here using your instrument and you can put this anywhere you like. Beauty! And yes, it easily meets its uh, spec of uh, a minimum of 10 metres in open um, space. I've tested that and it also goes through the brick wall, wall here in the EEV blog lab. It goes probably 5 metres on the other side of that brick wall. They've ditched the 9 volt battery, which is great. They've got 3 double A's in here and 2 double A's in here, which I think is fantastic. It's got a claim battery life of 400 hours. Let's check that out. Hooked up, measuring the uh, supply current of the main base unit with the display attached. And I'm getting a, roughly about 5 milliamps on average reel. And with it in wireless mode, there you go, it doubles to about 10 milliamps. And I'm measuring the battery current of the display unit here, and it's about 1 milliamp. It's got separate battery low indicators for uh, the meter and the display as well, so you know which one's actually gone flat. And if you do the math on it, uh, based on the 5 milliamp current drawer of the unit, uh, 2800 milliamp hour roughly, AA cells, that's about 560 hours. So it should meet its 400 hour claim. It doesn't really have a tilting bale, um, which I think is a little bit disappointing. I mean, it is actually angled like that, so it will actually sit on your bench, not straight up, but at an angle. So there you have it, the Fluke 233. An incredibly novel concept, and I really, really like it. All meters should be like this, I think. It's fantastic. It's really good. And it's a shame this is not an electronics meter with, you know, a proper microamp and milliamp range and um, reasonably high precision. So it's, but for industrial use, it's great. Fantastic. It gets the thumbs up. And in case you're wondering about the t-shirt, this is my cool new EEV blog merchandise. Check it out. The Flux Capacitor. You've got to get yourself one of these. This is a top quality uh, made in America apparel t-shirt. It's awesome. You won't get this anywhere else but the EEV blog.